Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So I've been using Linux as a desktop operating system for many years now, and it is by far my favorite operating system. And so today I want to go over the top three reasons why Linux is still the best operating system in 2019. So let's go ahead and start with the first reason, and that is Linux as an operating system is pretty much free. 99% of all the Linux distributions or versions of Linux are free. Now there are some versions like Red Hat which have a commercial side which aren't free but the operating system itself is free but what you're really paying for is the additional services or any specialized things that they don't open source but pretty much all of them are free. Now whenever you compare this to Microsoft Windows or Mac OS there is technically free versions of each one of these competing systems but let me go over that a little bit further and so if you actually want to get the Windows 10 home license it is $139 in the US uh, for the Windows 10 Pro version it is $199 and you could also go to a more value based keys you could go to a site like Kingwin and get it for a lot cheaper these are like OEM keys for $32 or you could get the free version where you could actually download the ISO file and you could use this in other computers like I have it here in the virtual machine. And these are more of a pretty much a limited version, although it gives you a lot of pretty much everything you would get with the full blown version of Windows 10. So that is the options available for Microsoft Windows. Now, whenever you get to the Apple Mac OS world, they technically offer it for free as well. However, if you go to their Mac OS site, you only have the option to upgrade if you are already a Mac user. Now, if you are a developer, you definitely can download the ISO file or you maybe get a beta version or maybe even get the full version, but you actually have to be logged in or be registered um, in their website as well in order to get this. And you can also download the ISO file from a variety of sites, although these are not official sites. But what this will allow you to do is actually get the ISO file similar to how you would actually get an ISO file for Microsoft Windows or any Linux operating system. And then you can install it on other computers or in a virtual machine. But realistically, in order for you to get into the Mac OS operating system, for most users, you're going to have to buy into their ecosystem. Okay, so there are free options available on Microsoft Windows and Apple Mac OS. However, it's not completely free as you might think versus Linux, which is pretty much all free. And so that is the very first and most important reason. So the second reason is all the software that is available. Now, whenever I started using Linux years ago, like more than a decade ago, the options for software was just not as good. You know, you basically always had to keep Windows or Mac around because it didn't have all the software you needed. But nowadays, in 2019, that is simply not the case. For the majority of users, you pretty much have software available in every single category. At least for me, for video editing, I have stuff like Caden Live or OpenShot, and you can even get DaVinci Resolve as well, which is awesome. And then other software that I use are things like OBS to do my screen recordings or simple screen recorder. I also heavily use office related software uh, like Spreadsheet and so LibreOffice provides all of that to me. And then in terms of gaming, um, Linux has gotten so much better uh, thanks to Steam providing this Proton layer. So now I can actually play Microsoft Windows games right in Linux. And this is consistently getting better. So now you're able to play a lot of more modern games that you wouldn't be able to play in the past. And it is just amazing. And so for me as a casual gamer, I really cannot complain anymore in terms of my gaming experience or lack of gaming experience within Linux because through Steam, I'm able to experience a lot of what Microsoft Windows users have been experiencing and continue to experience for a long time now. So this is continually getting better. And then if you are a retro gamer like I am as well, there are a lot of retro gaming options, specifically with things like MAME or uh, RetroArch. And so there are so many ways a person can game through the Linux operating system. And then the final thing that makes this to me the best operating system in 2019 and even beyond is privacy. Now, Microsoft Windows, as we know, they do collect a lot of data, but so does Apple's Mac OS. You know, a lot of people say that this is more secure. They don't collect as much data. 
But in order for you to get into their ecosystem, you're going to have to have an Apple ID. Okay, for the majority of people, you need an Apple ID to use their operating system. And so, you know, it wouldn't be out of the realm that they would be tracking you. Okay, so everything is tracked back to your Apple ID. And as we know, in the Apple ecosystem, Apple likes to have a lot of control. And so there's definitely data being collected there. Now, in the whole Linux world, of course, data is being collected as well, but it's not to the level that is being used for in Microsoft Windows and Apple Mac. Uh, in those worlds, especially with Microsoft, it's more to use your user behavior to do better marketing for you. Apple does the same thing as well. And obviously, this data is also used to improve the user experience as well. And so, but the thing is, with the Linux desktop operating system, you have way more control over your privacy. And I think that's something that is very important. Now, obviously, if you get on the internet and you're using any of these web applications or visiting a website, then your privacy is going to be compromised anyway. But in terms of day to day using your operating system, I feel a lot more secure and confident that my data is not being collected in ways that I don't always agree with. And so those are my top three main reasons why I feel Linux is still the best operating system in 2019. If you had any thoughts on why Linux is your favorite operating system, or maybe it's not your favorite operating system, or maybe you simply just don't care, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my entire uh, tutorial series on how to make the move from Windows or Mac OS over to Linux, I will leave that in the description area below as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.